Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm going to show you how I created my page based on the third last saying of Jesus on the cross, which was from John 19 verses 26 to 27, which says, When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. So I'm starting with a watercolour background and I've already prepped my paper with some gesso and I'm going to use Kuratake watercolours which are a Japanese make and I'm using a wet on wet technique. So I'll be wetting the page first and then adding the paint. So for me this verse has the obvious connection of caring for your parents and your brothers and sisters, widows and orphans, basically looking after each other and showing compassion. Now I found this really hard in the pandemic with the restrictions on how we can see each other in person. Those of you who are on the prayer journal year long course will know that my word for 2021 is connect. And I really felt God last year was encouraging me to make connections this year and mostly this has had to have been online. And actually the connections in real life have been really hard. We moved to a completely new area last April at the start of lockdown, and we've really struggled to meet new people apart from online. Zoom is a new thing to me as it is to a lot of people, and it's such a different way to meet new people and form relationships. And initially when we moved here, we had a lot of doorstep conversations, but even that has dwindled now especially because we're also going to be moving on again um, over this summer and we'll have to start all over again. But I'm still making connections online and I'm really working on that. So to start with here, I'm laying down three colours which are next to each other in the colour wheels so that they'll blend together without making mud. So I'm using a blue, a purple and a pink. And once I've put down my colours, I'm intending to use my stencil, which looks a bit like a honeycomb, so that I create the effect of connecting. I've used this stencil before with acrylics, but I really wanted to have a bit of a play with watercolours today and try a technique which I only found out about recently. It's quite difficult to use a stencil with watercolour paint, but this technique takes away colour rather than adds it, which you'll see later. So now that that layer is completely dry, I'm going to go over the top with a light layer of a golden watercolour. You have to be really light with your touch so you don't reactivate the colours underneath. So now the paint's completely dry, I'm using my stencil and a wonderful invention called a magic eraser. 
Now they're like sponges and you can buy them from a household store or online. And they're designed to remove marks from household objects, I think, but I've never actually tried them for that. So for this technique, you need to dampen the corner a little and then gently rub on the stencil. Now it's quite messy and you end up with quite a bit of watery paint that you have to dab off with a kitchen towel. But I do love the effect you end up with. When I started this I wasn't sure what pattern I was going to make and starting over on the left hand side I was thinking of all the hexagons as people connected by Christ and then it just made sense to make a cross on the right hand side. I'm using a fixative spray here by Windsor & Newton to fix the watercolour paint so it won't move. Although I hadn't decided at that point what I was going to do next, it seemed like a good idea to fix it all in place. So once that was all dry, I decided I wanted to add a wash of colour to the whole thing to unify it. I did like it as it was but I also liked it afterwards, so it was one of those times where I was reminded there was no right or wrong in art, just different. To start with I was quite hesitant and I was just going to try and paint around the hexagons, but then I decided to wash over the whole lot. And I'm using Quinacridone Magenta High Flow Paint by Golden. It's an acrylic, but it's very thin, so it's like ink.
When that's all dry, I go back over the hexagons with some white acrylic paint just to increase the contrast. Here I'm using a Stabilo All Black pencil, which is a watercolour pencil, to outline all the hexagons, again to increase the contrast. Now when you use this pencil over thick acrylic paint, you can smudge it with your finger. And you can see I'm doing this, but I don't get any response because there's only that really thin layer of acrylic. And I keep doing this, I do it repeatedly, even though it's not changing anything. And I realised as I was watching this back, that I felt God was reminding me yet again about how much of my life I repeat things over and over just out of habit even though it's getting me nowhere and eventually I do realize that this isn't working and I stop trying to smudge the lines with my fingers So I'm activating that water soluble pencil with a damp brush to get some shadows between the hexagons.
Now I'm still not happy with the contrast, so I go back in with my Stabilo All for more definition. And I'm adding connecting lines between all the hexagons to show how we're all connected in Christ. And here I'm just plotting out with my fingers um, a word that I want to write on there and I'm just making sure I know where I need to start the word. So finally I add the words make connections to remind me to keep going, to keep trying to make those connections even though it's really hard at the moment. So although this page wasn't filled with feelings of compassion, which is how it started, thinking about those around us who are maybe isolated, it ended up with a kind of bigger picture. I felt I'd panned out, kind of taken a step back to see the bigger picture rather than the smaller one. I wasn't really that satisfied to be honest, um, but maybe time constraints this week had an impact on that, I'm not sure. But I'm reminded that the bigger picture is also important and perhaps God wanted to remind me of that. Well I hope you enjoyed this third video in the series. The link to sign up to access the full series is on my website which is rachelevanswhite.com. Bye for now.